Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Morning from WKYT. It's great to have you along with us. The weekend is on the way. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Barbara Bailey. In today for Rebecca. Glad to be here. It's a really nice day out there and we've got a lot of news. Friday, August 21st, now at 6 a.m., bullets fly near a Lexington playground in one of two late night shootings that also sent one person to the hospital. Who the person behind a Twitter account leaking alleged Kentucky users of the Ashley Madison website is promising to name next. And the Kentucky superintendent defends his decision to take these pictures while posing in a bathtub. And we are tracking a fall-like feel out there this morning with temperatures running in the 50s. It's 56 degrees right now in Lexington. More mid-50s showing up just down the road. A nice start to the day. Defender remains on the quiet side, and that is the way it should be until Sunday. I'll have a track on all of it coming up for you. And first on WKYT this morning, we're tracking a crime alert after two late night shootings. New this morning, we have learned a man was shot near Mill Creek Elementary School. This morning, the shooter is on the run. WKYT's Michelle Chamberlain is tracking this crime alert live now from the scene. Michelle? Police are heavily patrolling this area in Lexington on Appian Way as a man recovers from a gunshot wound to the leg. The shooting happening just one block from an elementary school here in Lexington. Lexington. Now, police are telling me that two separate shootings took place last night within a 45 minute time span. The first shooting taking place here on Appian Way. Police say following the shooting that the victim showed up to Baptist Health with a gunshot wound to the leg. He was later transported to UK Hospital with non life threatening injuries. Police say he is being uncooperative and that they do believe the victim's shooting is connected to the shooting on Appian Way. Police say they did find two vehicles struck in the area along with several shell casings. Police say they were called for shots fired 45 minutes later at the intersection of Trent Boulevard and Trent Circle. Police also found shell casings at the second scene but have no further information. They also have no information on suspects at this time. Police are unsure if the two shootings are connected, but the two locations are within a mile of one another. And because the two incidents are so close in proximity and they happen within 45 minutes of one another, and more importantly, that the first incident happened just one block from an elementary school, police are heavily patrolling the area this morning. Live in Lexington, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. Michelle, thank you. And new this morning, an Owsley County substitute teacher admits to having inappropriate pictures of a student. The Herald Leader reports Dominique Johnson admitted to getting explicit texts from a 13 year old girl in 2012. He faces five to 20 years in prison when he is sentenced in December. More fallout this morning from the Ashley Madison hack. Twitter accounts leaking reported users in Kentucky of the cheating website have been shut down several times. But new accounts and promises of more names keep popping up. WKYT's Mark Barber joins us at the live desk now with more. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Barbara. It has already been suspended twice, but a Twitter account has popped up now for a third time, and today they are threatening to expose teachers and small town Kentucky mayors who used the cheating website. The Twitter account was created to out Kentuckians named in the Ashley Madison League. So far, it has already released dozens of names, including professors, doctors, realtors, and even a state representative. After reports surfaced that state workers could be involved, the state said they blocked the website from their employees. Hackers claim they leaked Ashley Madison's database of 32 million users. This morning, we're learning some of the people listed are employees with sensitive national security positions in the U.S. government. One is an information technology administrator in the White House, and two are assistant U.S. attorneys. According to the Business Insider, Ashley Madison is trying to stop the database dump from spreading by sending copyright takedown notices to social media networks. So, is the leaked information legitimate? It's hard to say because Ashley Madison did not require users to verify their email addresses. From the Live Desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. Josh Duggar calls himself the biggest hypocrite ever in the wake of claims that he had an account on Ashley Madison. 
Duggar was part of the now canceled TLC show 19 Kids and Counting. The show was canceled after Duggar, who is married and has four children, was caught up in a child molestation investigation. A Kentucky superintendent has created an online stir by appearing to be naked while posing for pictures. He says he did so to help his 13 year old daughter win a contest. Science Hill Superintendent Rick Walker's daughter tweeted pictures of him in a bathtub surrounded by items of the band One Direction. She was hoping that the pictures would help her win tickets to a concert. Walker says he did nothing wrong, but some parents disagree. And if he proves he's the biggest fan for One Direction, then the, they get front row seats and meet and greet in the back of the boys. She said, I have to win that. I'm thinking, okay, we, we'll do it. We're going to do it. I was just disgusted with it, really. I mean, there's so many ways that that picture can be taken, and it doesn't matter what the purpose was for the picture. Walker's daughter, by the way, did not win the contest. He says he regrets if the pictures were interpreted in a way that showed he was not setting a good example for children. The Better Business Bureau is issuing a warning about an online loan scam. Investigators say those behind a fake online bank are using the Anderson County address of a real bank, Commonwealth Credit Union. The fake bank even has a similar name, Commonwealth Bank. The BBB says misspellings on a website are usually a good clue that they're not legitimate. A Madison County grand jury has indicted a bank robbery suspect. New this morning, 37-year-old Eric No is charged with robbery for the crime at Chase Bank, according to the Richmond Register. No was arrested minutes after the robbery at his apartment nearby. A Florida sheriff's deputy is in critical condition this morning after a shootout while serving a search warrant in a prostitution investigation. Brevard County's sheriff says a group of deputies went to a home in Port St. John to serve the warrant and take a woman into custody. But as the deputies approached the home, a man inside opened fire. The deputies returned fire, hitting the shooter who survived. Caitlyn Jenner could face a vehicular manslaughter charge for a deadly crash. Sheriff's investigators in Los Angeles say Jenner was driving at an unsafe speed when she caused a chain reaction crash on the Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu. The February crash happened months before Caitlyn Jenner made her transition into a woman public. She was formerly known, of course, as Bruce Jenner, the 1976 Olympic decathlon champion. Well, the first two women to pass the Army's elite ranger school will graduate today alongside 94 men. First Lieutenant Shea Haver and Captain Kristen Grist began the grueling journey back in April. This is the first year that the Army has opened up the course to women. Now, your zone-by-zone zone forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell and First Alert Defender. Fall like temperatures are out there with us this morning, and they're going to continue through the day today. We'll max out close to 80 degrees, but still well below average. So it's all about the fall feel sticking around here through the day today and into part of the weekend before we kind of surge temporarily on Sunday. It's 56 degrees right now here in Lexington. You go down the road into Richmond, 55. 54 showing up, Danville, Somerset, with slightly warmer temperatures in southeastern Kentucky. And the reason it's slightly warmer is they had showers a little while longer, so there's a little more moisture content in the air, so that kind of holds the temperature steady through the overnight hours. Here we go, hour by hour, to get you into the peak heating of the day. We're in the upper 70s, but with the mix of sun and clouds, very nice looking day because the humidity stays down as well. We'll advance through the rest of the evening and early on Saturday morning when temperatures show up in the low, mid, and upper 50s. Yet again, some of those sheltered valley locations, some of those low lying areas end up in the low 50s. That's going to be the primary locations to get in on that. Slightly warmer on Saturday with those daytime highs climbing into the low 80s. So a, a nice feel even on Saturday before we get the showers and storms in here. Nothing out there right now, though, on Defender. It is smooth sailing as far as precipitation is concerned. A dry day today, dry day into the day tomorrow as well. 
And it's going to be dry for this. A very important evening for a lot of folks. It's football Friday night, and we'll just call it perfect weather for it. 74 degrees at kickoff. By the time we get into the second half, an awesome field. Temperatures into the 60s, and we're probably in the mid 60s, maybe some low 60s by the time we wrap up a lot of these games later on tonight. Just a fantastic football Friday night. Here comes your seven day forecast, which reveals those changes, those showers, and those thunderstorms that get in here on, this, on uh, Sunday. That's when we'll start tracking some of those. And then we go rolling into next week. More fall like temperatures come rolling our way. That's what you get a big, powerful front this time of year. And you get more fall weather early. Barbara. And isn't that a nice thing? It's not always like this when we start the high school football season. You know, some nights it can be very hot or it can be very rainy. It sounds perfect tonight. It is perfect. You know, I, I've been around for heat advisories on those, these early nights, 90 plus. So tonight it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so everybody can just go out and enjoy. Well, each morning we bring you weather and traffic together. We want to take a look at what's happening on the roads right now. Uh, we have not had a whole lot of problems out on the roads this morning. That's the good news. Some stalled vehicles, you may want to watch out for that. But as the uh, traffic starts to pick up as the morning moves along, be very careful as you head out today. There could be a lot of commotion around the campuses of UK and EKU today as more students are moving in. The exciting start of the school year, so just be careful as you head out and enjoy your day. Always a lot of fun uh, when the uh, new arrivals get to campus, but also, uh, as you say, it could be a little stressful there with the additional traffic. Time this morning is 6 11, and we have much more coming up on WKYT this morning. Why the Kentucky Supreme Court is granting a convicted murderer a new trial. And good news for college students, how you can save some money this semester, and it looks like most will. That story coming up in about five minutes or so on WKYT.